Hello, welcome to my point in time project, and this is the transgender section of the project. Now, before we get on to the interview, um, I would like to go over what transgender means. Transgender, in the full um, definition, is, deno is denoting or relating to a person whose sense of personal identi identity and gender does not correspond with their birth sex. Basically meaning that if you are a transgender person, you do not agree with your biological sex. So if you were, for example, if you were born female, uh, you might grow up and realize that you male or any other gender that you might identify with, non-binary, maybe, you know, male and female, <laughs> genderqueer, um, or other way around. You could be born male, born female, and just not feel as if you are male or female. And some people will go through physical changes. They could be surgical. They could just be parents-wise, hair, the way maybe the, uh, the some will take testosterone or, um, <laughs> the other one that I don't remember what it's called for if you want to be uh, more feminine, which will uh, shape your appearance more to fit the gender that you want to assign with. Hi. Hi, Mr. Greer. <laughs> Our, I, I'm sure you remember me. You know, I was in marching band. I was in your class. That was a, that was a thing. I was at like the life of that class, and I know you know it, so <laughs> that's great. Alright, are you ready for this? Sure thing. Alright, well, first off, thank, thank you and being a part of my project, no problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so the first question is, uh, what does it mean to be transgender to you? Um, to me, uh, being trans is knowing that you weren't born into the right body. Being trans is a choice. It's something that happens and some people can't control. Granted, there are some people who, who are trans who do transition, and they don't like that, so they de-transition, which it happens, but for me being trans, I was not born in the right body. I mentally am male, um, and that is how I identify. Um, and to me, being trans, I believe that you need to have body dysphoria. That's what I believe, not every person believes that, but that's personally. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, what was your coming out experience like? <laughs> oh, lovely. That's a nice laugh. Um, I did it on Facebook. Two years ago, my friend, uh, I was a sophomore. It's the year I had you, Greer. Um, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I had you freshman year. My bad. No. Um, I, my friends convinced me to come out, and I was like, I don't know how, man, and they're like, you know, Facebook, and I was like, Facebook's a thing. You know what, that's true. And so I was like, all right, so I typed this whole thing, and I was like, I am not, I'm like, I'm not your daughter, I wasn't, but like, it was full blown. Um, it was so dramatic that my dad disowned me for a little bit. Okay. That's lovely. But uh, it was a very roller coaster experience. Yeah. Um, since I've came out, which I've been out for like three years now, um, more people have in my family have come to terms with it. They still have issues, granted. But um, as of right now, it's not that bad. Could be worse. Yeah, it's always worse. Right um. So you have supportive family and friends then. For the my friends, definitely, or else definitely. they wouldn't be my friends. Yeah, you, you feel me? Yeah, definitely. Um, there are some of my family members who are don't really understand it too much, but my cousins, they do so great with pronouns and they do so great with my name, like, it's unbelievable. So I, I, I love that. That's great. Um, uh, what's your experience with the LGBTQ community? Um, well, me and all my friends, we're all, you know, we're all gay and stuff, so like, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> There are some people in the community who are, you know, nitpicky and, you know, but I'm pretty laid back. I've met pretty laid back people. Um, it's a very nice, loving community to be in. Um, so you support everybody. Um, you know, you meet more people that are like you. It's definitely something I would suggest. If Even if you're just like an ally, you know, like just a straight person, like, you just, it just opens up a lot of perspectives for you, so I definitely love it. Um, 
Totally. Um, what are some of the hardships you've had being, you know, in this lovely community? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, um, as being a trans man, um, I don't really, I get misgendered a lot. Um, I get called my dead name by people still. Um, not too often, but it does still happen. Um, I don't necessarily like when I get called feminine names. I don't like it when people refer to me as a girl. That was me, I apologize. <laughs> um, I don't, and, and it happens quite often. It's, I've been working on better of like telling people, hey, actually, no, I go, I go by he, they pronouns, you know, like this yeah. is, so. It's, it's, it could be, it could be worse, but um, our type of area isn't really heavily known for like that type of stuff. So there's not a lot of people, right. and if there were to be more people, they're closeted or they're not ready to come out because some people don't have the luxury of being able to come out like I did. Yeah. Coming out can be really, really dangerous for anybody, so if you know someone, like wants to come out like reassure them you know help them find a way that makes them comfortable yeah because um coming out is that's terrifying it's one of the scariest things i've ever done in my entire life and you did it though i did it though you did it we love that um the final question i've got for you is why do you think people struggle to understand the lgbt community you're just hard-headed you're stubborn you don't like change <laughs> like i don't understand i i i just I understand how it can be confusing, like the uh, like the names for it, like the sexualities, you know, the the pronouns things, because there are a lot of new pronouns like coming yeah. up, and I don't really understand that to be quite frank. I'm not gonna lie. Right. Um. But sometimes, like, I don't go out of my way to like bug about it. You know, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but uh, I just don't understand if. If you have a loved one who is a part of the LGBT community and you don't really quite understand, go to them. Talk to them. Try to understand. I know I would be more willing to help someone understand than for someone to just be hard-headed and just say, you know what? Uh-uh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's just it. Like, I don't know. This generation's really stubborn. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, sometimes it happens like that. But For sure. Hey man, that, I guess you just get through it. For yeah. sure. Well, thank you yeah. for being a part of this yeah. project. Uh, no problem, man. Yeah. I, I, what's up, Mr. Greer? Greer. <laughs> hey, you hey. You were one of the best teachers I had. I'm not gonna lie. I really do. Like, I, I appreciate you, Mr. Greer. You helped me a lot. Um, I'm kind of sad that I didn't get to come out to you. Not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure you expected it. I mean, come on. Here's your coming out video, I guess. Right! Through, you know, Mr. Mr. Sister's Greer. project. Hey! Like, I don't know. I don't know if you talked to Miss Williams. I know you know. Well, come on, you're both English teachers. But, like, I don't know if you talked to her, but I came out to her my sophomore year uh, in our little... I know you remember those, uh, those little things that you write when you like when you're new at the school and you're like uh i'm blank this is me like this is like my favorite thing and like you know that that stuff that we do at the beginning of the year yeah, yeah. i she was like what's one thing that you want me to know and i was like uh i'm trans i go by parker fun fact i used to go by parker and i used to go by rowan and i used to go by kian but now i go by kai he has gone through a lot of names dude. i've gone through a lot um through no lot. much love for you mr greer I have so much respect for you, and I like—I really just like want to see you soon and like talk. Like you were just like a really dope teacher, and I uh, try not to swear. I heavily mess with that. Heavily, totally. But thanks for having me. Yeah, totally. Peace.